Hello. Uh, I'd just like to preface, the, preface this video uh, wishing Mr. Bad Awesome a very happy birthday. Uh, this should be uploaded on his birthday. And uh, I just want to thank you very much for uh, the stuff you've done. You, you do a lot of my artwork, uh, especially for this Let's Play you've done. Uh, you, know, you, you just uh, really help out my channel, and uh, I really owe a lot of the success that I have to you, whether you think so or not. So thank you very much. Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for a new Let's Play. This is going to be a filler before the next one starts. Commander Keen 5. Commander Keen, goodbye galaxy. This is the Armageddon machine. Before we start, let's go to the control panel. Not that control panel. There we go. Let's go to the story. Just to refresh you guys if you weren't here last time. Gotta lower the volume a little. Last episode, our hero Billy blasted off in search of the mysterious Shikadi who served the Ganelec and planned to destroy the galaxy. After a short delay, Keen rocketed to Nasticus 4, only to find the council members missing. The Shikadi kidnapped him. Keen flew to the Shadowlands, faced horrible foes, and rescued the kidnapped ancients. I like that, where he's uh, just sitting there next to the life water. <laughs> After Keen freed them from their imprisonment, the immortal council members activated the source of galactic wisdom, the Oracle. The Oracle informed Keen that the Shikadi had nearly completed a machine to obliterate the galaxy. This episode finds Keen in stealth mode, sneaking with be uh, his Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket up to the Omega Matic. Securing his attach array to the exhaust port, Keen enters the Omega Matic and begins his most dangerous adventure yet. And, uh. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the game. If you don't know so far, the uh, the game is uh, it's pretty simple. I'll start a new game here. We're going to be going easy here because I don't want this to be a, a die type of let's play. But yeah, we start over here. You can't Unlike the uh, first game, you can't start on your Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, but that's okay. But that's okay. Also, there's a... Uh, down there, you see there's like a little... Uh, on the lower right corner. I don't know what that is. It looks like it. Uh, those things are where the flags go when you beat a board, but there's no board here, so that's kind of weird. Also, uh, just the way that this is going to go, it's going to lag a bunch. Just That's what Fraps does. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, this is Commander Keen. If you haven't played this game, it's really fun. It's uh, pretty cheap. It's $5 for the, uh, for the five game series on uh, Steam. That's where I got this. And that's pretty much you jump around using the control button. Uh, it doesn't work with the controller, but uh, I don't really care. Uh, Alt is your pogo stick, which is uh, pretty fun, actually. And spacebar is to shoot your laser gun to stun enemies. These guys uh, go up and down poles very quickly, so you want to be careful. Uh, the more points you collect by uh, eating candy, which is pretty awesome, uh, the closer you get to a life. If you press enter, you can see the screen here, um, and it tells you uh, how much you need to get towards the next uh, score. That is a uh, uh, weapon power-up. Um, I'm not going to explain too much, and I mean, I already did like explain pretty much everything. I'm not going to explain too much because uh, I already did Commander Keen 4, and it's pretty much the same here, just with different sprites for everything. Those guys go around uh, just... They don't really do much. They're like the slugs of this game, but they don't leave poops. That's nice. Those fire, oops, those fire sticks up there uh, automatically kill you. Everything in this game uh, kills you automatically, uh, so that's why you just want to be careful. Um, since I'm doing an easy mode, not all of the enemies that normally would appear will appear, but I'm okay with that. I really am. Uh, so yeah, you can climb up and down poles and jump back and forth. Uh, when you're on your poker stick, if you press the jump button, you go higher. So that's kind of cool. Oh. Okay, uh, the music in this game, I've always loved it. I like the music in Commander Keen 4 uh, a lot better, but uh, the music here is pretty good, if not completely and utterly out of place. Like, seriously. It's, like, would you, would you expect happy music like this in an Armageddon machine? I don't know. But yeah, this game is very fun. Um, I actually tried recording this uh, two weeks ago? This is pretty much just an introduction board. Uh, the first board always is, so that was easy. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is two boards per episode. We'll see how that goes. Um, and, uh, just in general, it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, so I tried recording this, uh, two weeks ago, but my microphone was, was all 
messed up, so I have to record it again. So, I mean, it's good because it's less blind now. Hopefully less fail. But, uh, it's, it's a very fun game. You just you jump around. I mean, some boards, whoa. Uh, some boards have different, um, uh, objectives like you see here you need to collect uh, gems like the one in the upper right corner there in order to unlock the doors and they're also sometimes key cards uh, so you have to be on the lookout for those in some levels but in general it's it's just a uh, it's just a fun game it's uh, mostly I guess platforming uh, but it has a nice twist on it I do recommend you do the uh, the first game in like the first three games like Commander Keen 1 2 and 3 we're okay, but 4 and 5 are a separate series. Like 1, 2, and 3 are a series, and yeah, that's a switch, you just press up to activate it. Sometimes you just want to shoot ahead because that, that will usually help you not get killed. Uh, so yeah, Commander Keen 1 and 2 are part of a series, and uh, 1, 2, and 3, and 4 and 5 are, are, are part of a, their own series. Um, 1, 2, and 3 are, are, are different, like I just said. Yeah, there are lots of hidden areas too, that's what I love about this game, it's just, it makes you want to bonk your head everywhere. Um, so yeah, so, you, uh, four, yeah, so, I'm sorry I keep getting sidetracked, this is ridiculous. Uh, four and five, do I, did, yeah, I did get the key, okay. Uh, four and five are part of uh, their own series, and the graphics are different, the gameplay is a little bit different. Um, I can't really vouch for one, two, and three, they're okay, but they're not the same. 4 is the best in the series, in my opinion, um, just because the music is perfect, the, the gameplay is perfect, the comedy is perfect. Uh, this game is a little less so. Uh, you, to go through holes like this, you just press... Oh, oh crud! I didn't shoot fast enough. Oh, well. Let's try that again. And you keep all your like your score and stuff, but you have to start the level over otherwise. Uh, in, in other respects. In all other respects. I need to use my words. Kaboom! Kapew! Kapew! Yeah. Um, so, it's just, uh, 4 is just a very fun game, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about 5. So this one, the, you know, the basic premise is you gotta go through all these... Oh, cool, I got him. Wait, secret passage! Yay! Um, you gotta go through all these places and... Uh, those things automatically kill you, obviously. You can't get rid of him. Oh, seriously? I shot that guy. Wow, I'm dying a lot more on this board than I thought I would be. I guess that's just because I'm rambling. Games don't like ramblers. And everything uh, respawns, so you can just get all these points again and again and again if you kill yourself, except you get closer to a game over, and that's not good. But the way that this game works, if you press escape, you go to the, uh, to the menu, and you can save in board, so... Uh, the game pretty much gives you save states, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, so now we're gonna go up there so that we can hit the switch. I don't want to forget that this time. I want to have to go back here. Uh, and it's just, it's not a hard game, especially on the easy mode. Despite the fact that I'm doing horribly, uh, it's really not a hard game uh, to, uh, to play. And, uh, you know, the harder modes have some annoying enemies in them. You know, that's just how it is. Uh, if you saw my uh, Let's Play Commander Keen 4, you'll know pretty much how everything goes here. Oh, there's two of those guys. Whoa. Let's put that guy over there. Put that guy? Yes. Apparently, the gem is now a guy. I thought it was a woman. Yes, yeah, so now we have the blue gem. That's pretty much usually how it works. You get one gem that leads you to another, leads you to another. And, uh, yeah, you have passageways here. And shoot that guy, so he doesn't actually kill us this time. It gives you, like, a little warning sound when he's about to rush at you. Yes, yeah, so you press down to go into there, and you just have to use the, um, poker stick to get back out. There we go. Just watch where you're jumping because you can can get yourself you can get yourself seriously killed. And uh, yeah, so that switch leads us there. And the game actually isn't lagging as much as I thought it would be, which is nice. But I'm not going to uh, not going to uh, to push it really. Yeah, these things are lasers of death, just like everything else. All as you can see, that down air down area there, down area there. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. 
is loaded up with uh, points of all sorts. I'm going to need that key card. Whoopee! I actually did the exact same thing last time. So let's go get that key card. Um, I'm not going to perform as many death defying stunts as you would like me to because uh, I really don't want to get myself killed and have to do levels all over again. And if you were in my position, you wouldn't either. Ah. Yeah, I'm that boring old man that you see at all those parties that's like, Hey, my day, we didn't do such crazy things with your zany people and the wibbly and the flattle and I'm old. Yeah, apparently I'm old Bill Cosby. Except old Bill Cosby would probably be a cool person, not a, uh, not a square. Not a square soft. You can also stand on these things. Surprise! Boing! I was actually surprised I didn't get killed by something that I accidentally bumped my head into there. Whee! Whee! I also like the stance Keen makes when he jumps on, um, you know, those platforms. It's just like surfing. It's surfing bird. I was actually listening to that today. Well, everybody's heard about the bird. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba ba bird is a word. Ba ba bird bird bird. Ba ba bird is a word. Ba ba bird bird bird. Ba ba bird is a word. Ba ba bird bird. Ba ba bird 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 bird. Yeah. I love that song. It was actually my uh, the ringtone on my phone for uh, about a year. People loved it. Die! And yes, in hard mode, those things will shoot at you more, but now it's just normal. Yep, look at all the points. Look at all the lonely points. Kaboom! Hee <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to get to that. Wait. Wait. Ooh. Anyway, you need the key card to open those doors, and that's the end of the level. And that's also going to be the end of this video. In the next video, we shall go to the main hub here. Uh, there are four directions to go to. Each one is two boards, and they each have a lock to open up the main elevator shaft here. So, um, there's gonna be four more episodes to that, and then a final episode, so it's gonna be six episodes, but that's fine. Anyway, this has been Several Total 4 with Commander Keen 5. <laughs> He's waving. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, be sure to tune in to more episodes. Also, if you haven't checked them out, check out the previous Let's Play, because I think it's awesome. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.